Coco Chanel grew up to become the most famous name in 20th century fashion, but she never married. In the second act of the musical based on her life, she has found a young protege through whom she's trying to live her life over again. Her lawyer is played by George Rose, the young protege is Gail Dixon, the young man is David Holloway, and Coco is Catherine Hepburn. wants four of the red chiffon, mm. one for each house. Mm. We only have enough material for three. Tell her to sell the house in Switzerland. <laughs> All those mountains sticking out everywhere is too vulgar. Louis. Coco, if there's something you want to discuss, please wait until the morning. Today is my wedding anniversary. One I question, ask. Louis. One question requiring a simple yes or no answer. I want to buy a house in Paris. Can I afford it? No. You can't answer a question of that gravity with a simple no. Coco, you just sold your house four years ago because you couldn't stand rattling around in it alone. Louis, I must have a house. I must have a house. I'm having a lovely time. <laughs> but not because of success. At this point in my life, the charm of success is really only the absence of failure. No, the reason. The reason I'm enjoying myself is because of Noelle. And seeing it all through her eyes. More and more, I... I find myself thinking of her as my own daughter. Loving the way she is, wishing she were a little different, disappointed she's not perfect, delighted there's still so much I can do. But I want a house where she can live and still have her own privacy. See whom she wants, come and go as she pleases. It's what she needs, and frankly, it's what I need too. I would never feel as alone and... Louie, why are you smiling? Is it because you were listening or because you were thinking of something else? Because only you, Coco, at your historic age, would decide to defy the natural order and become a mother. <laughs> <laughs> the, the house, naturally you found one. I left a bill of sale on your desk. Oh, oh, Where are you going for your anniversary? Oh! <laughs> 38 Avenue Martin. Good night, my dear. Bad luck. Dogadon, please. Dogadon, Dogadon, put all the decorating plans for the new house in the car. Tell them downstairs to let me know the instant Mademoiselle Noel returns. And telephone that caretaker. And tell him we're coming over and that I'd like to. Well. Battling George is back. Good evening, Mademoiselle. You're looking very well. You mustn't be discouraged. They can always annihilate me at the next collection. I'm surprised you remember me after all the heady wine you've had lately. Remember you, my dear fellow. I have a cramp named after you. <laughs> didn't Noel know you were coming? No, no. I didn't think so. She would have mentioned it. If you would like to wait, please do. I won't say make yourself at home, I've never seen yours. But I have nothing against your being comfortable. Is there anything you would like? Just peace on earth, goodwill toward men. And what do you have in mind for women? I only have something in mind for one of them. I would like to marry Noel. I seem to be depressing you. You? Who do you think you are? The human race? No, I was just thinking how extraordinary it is. And a gutter rat like me should aspire to wed the princess. It's so much like my own life in modern dress. Up to this point. Up to this point. Mademoiselle, may I be frank? Under no circumstances, there's no reason to be. <laughs> Mademoiselle, how is she? Every day, she grows wiser, deeper, happier, and more independent. Of me? Well, that's a good place to start. I think you're going to find yourself very much surprised. When did you get back? I came straight from the airport. Why didn't you let me know you were coming? Well, I was just being cautious, I suppose, just in case you are so 
damn beautiful. It's incredible. It's makeup. George tells me he's come back to ask you to marry him. I may have to kill her. Is that all right? No, it's not. No, Noel, can't we meet later? Alone? Yes. I'll come by at nine. George? Is... Is what Coco said true? Yes. Oh, good night, mademoiselle. Monsieur. Well, as the old song goes, every silver lining is inside a cloud. <laughs> Shall we go up for dinner? I hope when his newspaper goes to press tonight, he sends along that suit. <laughs> Are you coming? It all happened just as you said, didn't it, Coco? I became independent, and he came around. It's a shame we're all so predictable. But everything about love is a shame. Men and women deserve something better than each other. You can't make it without him, Coco. I've tried. But I'm just not all I need, and I never will be. He is. Will you please come up to dinner? People think they want all sorts of strange things when they're hungry. Oh, it was fun thinking I was the same as you, but I'm really not at all, and you know it. I have no genius inside me to take care of. And when you said no to Julien, it was because you'd fallen in love with your work. I never will. I know that. Failure is... is too much and success too little. What do you want me to say, Noel? I understand, my child. Go and God be with you. Yes. That's exactly what I want you to say. Well, I can't. And I do understand. It's you who understands nothing. You need love. And so you think you need him. And why not? Why not? It's the only love you've ever known. Standing on your small hill of years, it's the only life you can see. But I look out from Mount Everest, and I can see a future for you that you couldn't dream of with opium. I know you can, Coco, but... I want my own future. I don't want to be made into someone no man can satisfy. If my dreams are too big for you to carry, pick some up at the flea market. Get out of here. <laughs> Is this a sample of the joyous state of motherhood? A taste of what maternal happiness is? If this is the reward, then I'm grateful to the Lord that all I have been pregnant with is dresses. Good night, mademoiselle. I'm glad I live alone without humanity, safe from all the dangers of devotion. I've a selfish interest in how they cover up their skin. Beyond that, they can all jump in the ocean. Good night, mademoiselle. Thank God there's no one always supervising me. No one with a way of tenderizing me. No one after whom I'm always clinging, without whom life will barely have a meaning. No one. Clever mademoiselle, brilliant mademoiselle, everything that matters, she scattered away, dazzling 
Mademoiselle In a golden shell Life is such a merry Solitary holiday Gone is all the love She had so much of Never more to be Never more will she cast another spell Through the winter night, now she dims the light From the lonely bed she lay Wondering why in hell she stayed Always Mademoiselle Thank you. 